எல்லாத்துலேயும் அந்த யூனிவர்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட்டாக எடுத்துக்கணும் ஸோ அதனால தான் யூனிவர்ஸ் போட அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க ஸோ இது தமிழுக்கான யூனிக்கோட் நம்பர்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் எக்ஸாம்பிள் தான் இருக்குது ஆண் தமிழுக்கு வந்து ஜீரோ பி எயிட் ஃபைவ் கார் தமிழ்க்கு இந்த மாதிரி ஜீரோ பி நைன் ஃபைவ் ஸோ இந்த யூனிகோட் வந்து என்ன பண்ணியிருக்கோம் அப்படின்னா உயிர் எழுத்து மெய்யெழுத்து இது ரெண்டுக்கு மட்டும்தான் யூனிகோட் வேல்யூ வாங்கியிருப்பாங்க அந்த கூட்டத்துக்கு அந்த இதில் வந்து பண்ணிக்க மாட்டாங்க கவுண்ட்ஸ் அந்த இதில் வந்து பண்ணிக்க மாட்டாங்க அது தனியாக நம்ம அரேஞ்ச் பண்ணுவோம் நெக்ஸ்ட் டைம் இப்போ இந்த ஃபார்மத்தில் டேட்டஸ் இருக்குது அந்த டேட்டஸை வந்து
So, pizza is a very good thing. So, you can put it on the table. So, you can put it on the table. 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 You can the Firefox Pro, whatever is the end of my food is put on, you pre only the text of the Oriana, Oxford site, and the other one, you go. Are they safe for it? Number the converted to the other one, I don't know what part of the world. So, in the other one, 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 the other so, last week, the
Look at Brahmin later. Brahmin later. There are several forms. You have taken only one standard form. That is the earliest. Sitanavada, you take Artapati, Mahabharata group. But when you come to Sitanavada or even Tirnathar form, etc., we get a later evolved form of the planet. So, uh, how can we uh, include those evolved form also in this program is a highly problematic thing. It's a very, uh, I don't know, uh, since I am not an expert in uh, this mechanism, I cannot say anything, but uh, there are several forms for Ra, the only uh, letter Ra, it, uh, it is represented by four different symbols in the Brahmi labels. Aritavati Mahmoud group is one, Sitanavasal group is one, Tirunadar Kumbhu group is one, then the last uh, group. So, it has a story of evolution. That story of evolution is not brought in uh, your uh, program. That does not mean that this is not uh, valid. This is highly helpful, but your help is uh, essential for including those aspects also, those evolved aspects also. Because unless you know or you have some idea about these evolved letters, you cannot uh, read those inscriptions. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow there will be nobody to read them. So you have to. Uh, take into consideration the evolution of characters. Brahmi characters have at least four stages of evolution. This has to be taken into account. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
So Bami has a picture of like a interesting topic in front here. Thank you for that. It's such an interesting way of us. As Uday says, we are getting to know how many forms are there in the government itself. Based upon language evolution, character seems to be changing based upon the inscripts. So there is a timeline for that. There is a chronological event. We have to first learn that and we have to invite that shared form structures, patterns, everything into the text version. It takes a lot of time and effort. Uh, for now, we have created one more font, which is not at uh, public in the open. Uh, that thing is available for Bani, Arikani, and the is there. Similar to that Brahmi font, there is already many other versions of that, which is still to be published. Uh, one more thing I want to remind here is uh, <coughs> the labor that goes into this font creation is nothing less like uh, Mr. P. Vina, as I call this font that was. Like stone tools, so that it used to inscribe uh, fonts on the stone walls, right? Nowadays, uh, 50 years back, we have font forges. They used to make font for this type of forges, uh, letter X, which are used to be in metal. Uh, still, now we use the same, same standard measurements uh, in all of our uh, digital displays only. Uh, now we are getting into the new uh, state where uh, localized and natural languages has to be recognized. In standard form. Uh, as Udayan stated, these standards can have several versions based upon centuries or the eras or the uh, regions. That can be meant, but to start, we have to start with one particular form which is very, very uh, approachable and very, very useful for the public. That's why he started with Rami and he started with the uh, font from the right? So there are several different going on in such practices. For us, for the font creators like us, uh, new people are the first audience. So it is you who have to use it. And basically the problem with the current versions of software you are using and finding it is not compatible with the Unicode in most of the times. Uh, one thing you can contribute is like you can come into uh, more open standards adaptive software which is supported to Unicode first of all. Uh, Instead of NHM Writer, you can, I, I think I have come across several problems with NHM Writer itself as a tool because a lot of you are using uh, NHM Writer for uh, writing your local languages, right? There is another tool called a schema, it is available for Windows users, which is better version and it is, uh, there is no other than as far as NHM. Uh, if you are comfortable, you can move to a completely different options to be suggest. So, uh, so, Mitchell Karan has uh, done several contributions from software perspectives, uh, developing tools, uh, I mean the software instruments which are using for practicing grammar mistakes. Uh, I believe that there are several, several other uh, indie developers in Kerala also which we which I uh, missed to invite them to this game of Karan. Uh, how many of you have uh, Indic fonts installed in an Android keyboard. One, two, so three. So most of you are using Google fonts, right? First of all, while you use uh, Tamil or any phonetic language, you use it to type uh, yn for na, yn yn for na, right? The number of keystrokes are being increased. That is not actually the phonetic standard itself. Phonetic standards are completely different from what Google suggests. Google doesn't know about India, Google doesn't know about vernacular knowledge. Right? There's a complete misrepresentation of the font as well as keyboard typing. <coughs> On the other hand, we indie developers do much uh, effort to develop our own indie campers to install indie keyboard from place or anywhere else. We have a fresh market also. Uh, you can see Tamil language numerous represented with actual vernacular representations. If you use Google in the keyboard, then Tamil numerals are still represented as Latin numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, That is completely wrong, right? You can type in Tamil, but you cannot type in numerals in Tamil. That is complete uh, contradiction over there. So, as long as we develop that, we, we need user base also. You are the first user base for us. So please contribute that. Just for you, you can contribute that.
Hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I don't take much of your time since we are uh, short of time, but also we are moving for lunch. Uh, myself, Rachel Karan, I am working in various aspects of Tamil computing. Uh, basically, uh, I am from a different uh, profession. I am working for some MNC, but as a passion, I am working on some uh, Tamil computing linguistics and I have a lot of tools. So, here I am uh, bringing into the table like some of the uh, open source resources and uh, available uh, Tamil computing resources to in front of you people. Uh, so, that you just you can use it or at least you can give us some input to improve it. So, uh, until on this, uh, you come to know about what are the existing technologies. You can't make uh, people to use your, your researchers. For example, uh, you could have found, it, found it a lot of things like a brownie and a lot of uh, things you have research and you have found it. But until and unless it makes a common public, uh, it, it won't make a great impact. So, in, in this session, I will try to give some of the uh, available applications so that you can use the technology and you can make use of it. Okay, so uh, I'm slightly different from uh, the topic like uh, the font designer. I'm not actually font designer, uh, but I can give you some information about what is the open source and the open access. Okay, uh, open access and uh, open information. Okay, uh, have you heard about uh, Creative Commons? Anyone heard about Creative Commons other than? Uh, the people from uh, of TN or the other free software foundation, the people from Scholar side. Is there anyone who heard about uh, Creative Commons? Yes, right? Yes, two of them are. Uh, but uh, 